What's up everybody? It's Pete with Pete's Green Machine here. And I just want to show you this uh, Brindley aerator that I just put together. It took me a couple hours to put together. Uh, instructions were okay. Um, had a little trouble with the handle. Had to drill, drill out the hole a little bit, make it a little bit bigger to uh, get the, the screw to uh, go through. But other than that, uh, besides it being a lot of pieces and having it, uh, you know, taking some time, it was fairly easy to put together. So, uh, with that said, here we go. Let me show it to you guys. They're in the, uh, oops, in the main cave here. Let's adjust the, uh, the camera. So, it is the 48-inch, um, Brindley Aerator. Um... It looks, I mean, I don't know if you guys can really see the size of this thing, uh, but it is pretty big. I would say uh, one, two, three, four, at least five cinder blocks wide, five and a half, maybe even six can squeeze on there. And I'm going to try to get as many as possible on there. Uh, the only thing that I did differently was in the directions, they had... The Brindley uh, sign going this way, being uh, the front side, what they consider the front side, the hitch side. Uh, I figured I'd flip it around and put the uh, Brindley sticker in the back. Um, why I went with the Brindley instead of the John Deere, which is exactly the same thing but painted green, uh, was price. Uh, my Brindley... Uh, 10p cart that I have is great. It's the same thing as the John Deere uh, 10p cart. Um, same manufacturer, Brindley. Uh, so instead of pay $200 more for it to be green and have the John Deere logo on it, I figured just go with the Brindley uh, since it is exactly the same. Um, here on this side is... Uh, little pin that is installed that's where it latches onto and uh, that's it guys the Brindley 48 inch aerator I'm gonna hope to uh, have it in action um, this weekend uh, if you if uh, just so you guys know this stuff you have to put all these aerator spindles on here there's four of them and each one of them gets eight of these uh, that's what took so much time so uh, other than that everything was fairly straightforward uh, simple so uh, thanks for tuning in guys uh, please uh, like the video hit subscribe and uh, this weekend once I uh, uh, get this thing hitched up. I'll make another video and show you uh, all the wonderful plugs all over my lawn uh, so we can uh, get it winterized and overseeded and all that good stuff. So uh, take care, guys. See you next time. What's up, guys? It's uh, Pete with Pete's Green Machine here. I am outside right now and I have the Brindley 48 inch. Um, aerator connected so um, if you're watching this that means I put the videos together um, let me uh, turn this thing around here so as you can see right now I have five cinder blocks in there can easily fit six if I had six I only had two and had to borrow uh, three from my uh, neighbor but uh we're gonna give it a go right now um i am not going to film uh while i'm doing it because i don't really have a place to put the gopro uh that will stick and really sh sort of show what's going on unless unless i suction cup it to here and give that a shot see if that works 
if you guys see it then you know it works if you don't then you know it didn't work and I'll just show you the before and after all right now the grass looks pretty tore up because I just dethatched it or thatched it or whatever you want to call it sucked up as much as I could uh, had a lot of thatch uh, there as you can see um, a lot of a lot of thatch came up and uh, as you guys know I have the uh, the front mount thatch thatcher for uh, this that's why the uh, the brush guards not on right now as you can see it's uh, she's been working hard the X739 uh, so I'm going to aerate it and uh, then I'm gonna put on the uh, my broadcast spreader and uh, and uh, fertilize and seed for the winter since winter is here as you can see the thatching did a pretty good job did some uh, good ripping up of the soil as well my, some of the bare spots so uh, hopefully here in a couple weeks we'll have new grass growing right before uh, we get our first freeze so with that said uh, be right back guys
what's up guys so I'm sure that was a pretty bumpy ride